Raleigh. Hi, Raleigh. Um, I, I just wonder whether that result or that that performance, sorry, surprised you, and also how big a bearing key decisions, key moments had when your team perhaps wasn't at it tonight? Well, of course, you, uh, we're disappointed for any result in the Premier League this season. Uh, shouldn't surprise anyone. So, um, but then again, very disappointed we couldn't uh, put a better performance on. But that's, it was down to us to put the performance up and uh, we just couldn't uh, find an opening. Um, behind or round or between a very compact and good uh, Sheffield United defence. And of course, Sorry. the big moments, the big moments uh, went against us. The, uh, if you look at it, Billy Sharp's been around the, the place and he knows how to put a goalkeeper off and that's a definite foul on him because so David can't get up. And for me, uh, the referee makes a mistake by blowing the whistle on uh, our goal for that corner. That's uh, disappointing, but that's we, that happens. Hi, Ali. I know you will have been asked this a lot, but can you put your finger on what went wrong tonight? I, I know Sheffield United were compact and they did well, but some of your better players didn't seem to step up to the levels that we know they're capable of. Well, there's many, many facets to a game of football. Today we didn't uh, pass with enough quality, get, didn't get enough uh, rhythm and uh, tempo and quality in our passing, didn't make enough runs in behind uh, when we should have. So, because um, there were spaces there at the time, especially first half. Second half, when they get a goal, of course, it's less so and more difficult. So, um, the boys have been absolutely terrific for the last few months. Uh, they've been uh, really, really consistent, high performance level, and tonight was our night to um, to not hit the, those levels. And when you don't in the Premier League, you don't get results. Thank you. Ollie, are you worried about Anthony Marshall's form at all? He seems to get a lot of criticism from supporters tonight. And he's, he's only got two goals from, um, I think, 10 more starts in the league than Edinson. And Edinson's obviously got four goals and playing very well. Well, I think uh, the whole team uh, will probably get criticism tonight, and myself as well. So. Uh, I don't think Anthony is uh, exempt uh, from that. I think we're all, we all should be criticised because we, we didn't perform. So um, I, know, I know Anto, he's, he's working really hard in training, working on his finishing, working on his movement. So uh, I've, I've got no qualms about that, but he, he'll come good. Thank you, Carlson. Hey. Uh, so that's your first loss in the, in the Premier League in 13 games and, and everything has been going really well lately and, and now this bumps com, comes along. Is, is the upcoming games now going to be the time where you find out what these players are really made of? Of course, there's no time to uh, feel sorry for yourself and there's a game already on Saturday. Uh, other teams have been through or have lost games and uh, have to bounce back. We have done it before. This group of uh, players have done it so many times and I expect uh, our performance to be much, much better on Saturday, of course. And we got Arsenal, Southampton, Everton, three massive games for us. So we um, cannot feel sorry for ourselves for too long. Uh, when I see them in the morning, I expect them to uh, to get the mood back up and uh, the focus on Saturday. Hi, Ali. I just want to touch on yeah. the comments you made about Martial and the performance not quite having the intensity we needed. And when that is happening in a game, at what point do you I, stop? Break, you're breaking up, Carl. I can't really hear you. Let's start again. <clears throat> when you're watching Manchester United not play with the necessary intensity or execution that perhaps you may want, um, how do you balance changing things up with substitution with letting things simmer for five to ten more minutes? 
he understands the question. I, I uh, just break it up too much. Part, yeah. part. You break. Can you maybe uh, write it or something? Because uh, you break it up half the half the time. In chat. Do you want me to read it out? Do you want me to say it? Because I think I have. Writing it, I think, in the chat, Simon. Are there any more questions in the meantime? Yeah, I'll do another one in the meantime and come back to you, Carl. Uh, I'll, I'll ask one if that's all right then, Ollie. Um, yeah. Okay. There was there was some absentees tonight in the squad. Any any reason for the, for that? Absentees in the absentees squad. In the squad. Uh, yeah, Eric had a bang uh, yesterday and he saw a bruise, so he was out. Um, Brandon and Ahmad and Jesse trained as well this morning, so we more or less stuck with the same squad that we've had the last uh, few weeks. How do you balance the need for substitution and wanting to see how your starting players can properly execute your game plan? Yeah, no, it's it's always a uh, uh, you need to um, find the right moment. I think maybe uh, we uh, we didn't find the the performance level that we uh, we needed. I, I felt we we started okay, but didn't. Um, have the quality of the last pass or uh, to find them the uh, the opening. Then, of course, at half time when you're uh, one nil down, you're thinking, do we do a sub uh, early on or do you give them some time to get back into the game? We scored, and we felt the, the time was there for uh, for Eddie to come on. Then uh, it's always a balance between uh, sticking with the with the starting starting uh, eleven and. Uh, making changes when you see things uh, don't work. Okay, there's no more questions. Thanks, everybody. Okay.